Hey gang, it's your old pals, Uncle Hank and Kippy. Just want to thank you for tuning in to Are You Garbage? Yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episode as they come out. And you can also go to gasdigitalnetwork.com, use promo code AYG to get bonus content and get the episodes before they come out and HD streaming. Do it. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Oh, my word. Hey, everybody out there. And welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? The show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they're a big old piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day here. The fall has begun here in New York City. The summer is over. The perfect time to do the garage fridge contest. We're here in the big studio Feeling good, feeling fresh. My co-host coming at you right next to me. He's got a MacBook Pro Air in front of him, which oh, yeah. might still need a couple payments. Nine. This thing yeah. was paid in cash Woo. by my wife, okay? <laughs> Shout out to the weakling at NYU who couldn't carry his book bag. Because I'm a fucking gentleman. How about that, you know? Gang, the next time you're reaching for a best pal, do yourself a favor. Make it a kippy. This kid tastes great. He's less filling. And... He's going to be on the cover of Rogaine Magazine this week. <laughs> Articles entitled, Hanging in there. Guys, <laughs> you can catch him this weekend, this month in Hair, Hair Follicle Quarterly. <laughs> He's on Forbes 30 under 3 inches. Give it up for Kevin Ryan, everybody. Hey, what's up, gang? Um, just uh, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it so much. We do. We have another host episode for you where we're going to go over to Garage Fridges. The of, big contest, baby. The big giveaway. Of you dirt balls. And by the way, some of you need to fucking call a cleaning service because you stink, okay? I'm coming out and saying it. I'm going to start sending out fucking DeVry uh, pamphlets, fucking uh. pick it up a little bit, get a second job, do something, let's go. <laughs> we need high-income demographic here, folks. We ain't going to make it selling the low-level shit. We got to start moving fucking BMWs, fucking Johnny Walker Red, I don't know. Um, yeah, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Get us back in that top two hundo. Tell a fucking friend. Grab your wife's phone, your boyfriend's phone. <laughs> Your partner's phone, Latinx, whatever you need. Whatever you got cooking. Huh? <laughs> you know, just nothing, wrong, nothing wrong with any of it. Just uh, just leave a review. We appreciate it. Um, and also, uh, full video available on YouTube. You can subscribe there as well. Those numbers are through the fucking roof. Over 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. We appreciate that. You guys are the fucking best. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, also, quick two quick shout-outs uh, to, to you guys. Um you're doing shout outs now? Nah, it's for the this show. This guy's taking care. <laughs> no, it's for the show. Um, so there's uh there's a very rabid fan base. They, these, these guys started a Reddit. Are mm-hmm. you familiar with Reddit? I'm familiar you, with you it. You can check out the Are You Garbage. I've read it before. All right. <laughs> Dylan, cut that. Why is it only on him, by the way? <laughs> I was just How come I gotta look at that? Kippy's yeah. face when I'm doing the intro? Yeah, is this jumping back and forth? Yeah, what's going on here? Sweet. There we go. There he is. Was that the shot the whole time? No, I was switching it around. It right. was I don't know. This kid's relax, relax. something suspect back there. I'm going to have to get Bobby Hutch in here. Well, we've been holding a really wow. good relationship with Dylan, despite the criticism that comes from outside sources. Um, yeah, guys. You got to put the moneymaker up there, kid. The face is selling the pod. Not cue ball over here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Uh, all right, shut up. I'm doing the fucking business, okay? You're worried about the only thing you got is your hairline, all right, Tubbsy? <laughs> why, why don't we get let's get a let's get a shot under the table for him? Uh, can see I, I look like I'm laying down. Look at look at look. <laughs> see, that's the problem. You can the back love handles are really getting out of control. Yeah, that's what that, that. that's your problem. The back love handles. Uh, I'm that fat. I'm always leaning. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called gravity, Tubbsy. <laughs> um. Guys, uh, if you're a, if you're a redditor or whatever they're called, you can check out the uh, and subscribe to the subreddit. Uh, it's are you garbage? And then also shout out to Stephen McQuillan on the Facebook group. There's a whole Facebook group oh, that guys, I didn't know about. Guys, we love you, man. Thank you. Everybody's posting pics, sharing stuff, laughing. It's a fucking family. I love it. Thank you so much, everybody. We fucking appreciate it. I'll have to get in there on one of my burner accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Just a fat lady named Trish. <laughs> 
somebody made somebody made female versions of me and took our headshots. I thought you did that. No, so the Facebook group did that, uh-huh. and they made female versions of me and Foley. And dude, you look like a Trish. The, la- sure. the last one of me with my with my old headshot. That's really good. Oh, pretty man. cute. <laughs> Dude, take a fucking it, run at her, dude. If it was 2007 <laughs> and Kippy had about 13 Bud Lights in them, really, a couple of fireball shooters. <laughs> good night. I'd be fucking. <laughs> I'd be sending you some pina coladas at the end of the bar <laughs> <laughs> on, on a gift card that I'm running the tab on. Hey, bartender, do me a favor. Just send down a tray of mozzarella sticks for that cutie down at the end of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Just send it food. <laughs> Yeah, put, put that margarina in a trough for her. Nobody does that. Everybody says drinks. <laughs> you you want to get a girl in the rack? Is that a thing of pot stickers? <laughs> <laughs> you want to get me in the sack? You send down the fucking sampler. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, dude, you send me. Listen, the gentleman's move, if you're out with a couple of buddies, by far is getting the fucking sampler. Because you always have the weirdo that wants, you know, like, oh, let me get the deviled eggs or something. <laughs> it's like, dude. You get two of them and stay off my fucking mott sticks. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what. The Denny sampler is second to none. I don't know what they coat them fingers with, but you crack a tooth on them, they're crispy. Yeah. And I don't speak, fuck with Denny's. Speaking of great appetizers, real quick, because you were talking about a version of this, but my cousin Jordan got married this weekend. Congratulations to him and his beautiful wife. Fantastic, beautiful is, wedding. Is that what you're giving him a shout out instead of a present? <laughs> You fucking piece of garbage. Listen, I'm a little tight on funds. Hey, this puts us even, by the way. <laughs> I'm still waiting on that gas digital check to drop. How about a shout out on this Tuesday's show? No, but they had Cut that, Dill. Cheesesteak dumplings. Let me tell you that's, something. But that's how trashy Philly is. They just cheesesteak everything. What oh, do, so good. From, uh, and from, from Anything from the Far East, they empty out and put some fucking steakums in. <laughs> cheesesteak egg rolls, cheesesteak pot stickers. Cheesesteak COVID. Yeah, it's not that bad. little yeah. ketchup. Yeah, man. I'm big. Dude, put meat and cheese in anything and sign me the fuck up, daddy Yeah, it's forget about it. Hey, speaking of meat and cheese, real quick, want to give another special <laughs> shout out. Oh, I don't like this. There's too many <laughs> shout outs. Let's start over. Take it from the top. Well, we got our friend Steve Torielli. We're All selling right. out. Who you know? <laughs> <laughs> Shout We're out to the good folks at out. GM Motors, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All our friends at Halliburton, everybody. <laughs> Well, in spring. Steve Torielli, who does amazing gifts and all that stuff for, for, for a lot of podcasts on um, on Twitter and Instagram, at Torielli Picks, you guys should follow him, uh, made up these uh, these mug for us, for the Mick Foley. Yeah. Look at that right there. Fucking beautiful. We're going to always have him on the desk here, drink our beverage out of. Uh, I'm not. I'll stay out of my Poland Spring <laughs> bottle. Thank you very much. That I paid for, by the way. All right. Well, Waiting on that Venmo. <laughs> yeah. My Wait, let's get into it. Foley, Foley went out to dinner. For uh, for his girlfriend's uh, yeah, we need to do another pre-sale quick. Because <laughs> I'm broke. Foley went out to a fancy dinner with it for his girlfriend, and while he's at dinner, he's fucking texting me asking for the hundo that I owe him. <laughs> he's going, yo, can you Venmo? He goes, that this dude's got the balls to go to Nobu, which it's like fucking two hundred, two bills a plate at Nobu. He he's got the balls to go to Nobu in shorts, and he's out. And he texts me, hey, are we all squared up? What's up with that Honda? Like, and I'm like, well, I'm like, yeah, I'll send it to you. He's like, yeah, can you send it now? I'm like, what's going on? He's like, I'm at no bill. I'm like, oh, somebody got a little too big for his fucking waistband. <laughs> somebody ordered two appetizers. I told her to keep it to one and we'd split it. She's out there fucking throwing money around like I'm fucking Roosevelt. Dumping glass in there. And by the way, can we make it a little hotter in here? I'm fucking schwitzing. We're talking about cash. I'm fucking sweating. <laughs> Wait till the IRS starts poking around. <laughs> oh God! Um, yeah. I'll be long gone by then. I'll which that, that? Which that? That? Uh, that? That brings it up. The the segue. Uh, so we're gonna. So what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the garage fridge, guys. The submissions from the garage <laughs> fridges have been fucking awesome. Some of you are. Yo, hands down, clean fucking living. Some of you got a little bit of cash. You put the Ryan's to shame over Doing here. Doing well. Some of you are doing very well. Some of you need to fucking move back home. So, some of you need to throw away some food. <laughs> yeah, dude. Some of you. The one guy's just he just sent a picture, and it's just trash. He has actual <laughs> garbage. And he goes, yeah, I use it as my trash can. It's his proper fridge. But I do that as well, because that's that's oh, a better garbage. way to go. No, it's all <laughs> It's the better way to go because you're going to take it out the next day. Why keep it in the trash 
when it's all where it's all stinky. Take, it, then take it out that night. Stop That's garbage. Yourself. I'm you not taking the out. trash out that night and going to the alley where the rats are at night. What are you nuts? <laughs> what the- I only do that during the day and I throw it from right <laughs> from never. <laughs> you shot put in a bag. <laughs> shot put in a hefty bag. <laughs> You fat piece of shit. Um, well, how's that supposed to make me feel? <laughs> but, I'm trying over here. I got new shirts, by the way. I'm done with the George uh, collection. Uh, I'm sure the weight's going to start falling off now. <laughs> Guys, he's got new T-shirts. Everything's all right. Um, I'm a DXL man now, so, all the way. So... Um, Guys, we appreciate uh, everybody fucking send it in the video. Some of you went as far to like upload it to YouTube. They put a little music behind it. It's good narration. Some of you. Fucking home runs. We really appreciate it. Production quality. Um, and also, uh, we're so in the first half of the question, we're going to just dick the first half of the app. We're going to dick around, you know, do a little kippy foley. I think we're doing it now. We got some listener questions, and this is one of the first listener co- listeners questions. Really? Um, that we were talking about weddings. And this is, I know, well, we have, uh, I, uh, this will be a sticking point. We've had this conversation before, but it is real trash. <laughs> He Coke said, at the wedding? What this, no, this is from Aaron. Is it Garbaggio to get a hotel room at a hotel close by the designated <laughs> wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is it Garb? Is it Garbaggio? No, I'm at the Red Roof Inn down the street. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting a fucking bridesmaid back there, you fucking dirt ball. Yeah, the last Some... stop on the shuttle, and then you got to <laughs> take a fucking taxi. Wait, hold on. Let me get through the question. <laughs> Uh, it's just a quick Uber ride. Like, is, 45 minutes down the road. This is a home run of a question. Is it a garbage to get a hotel room at a hotel close by the designated wedding hotel to save a couple of bucks? Dude, that hey. is trash. Yeah, dude. that's trash. Garbage is fun. Garbage is cute. <laughs> that's just fucking. Well, oh, like, so it. some of you might not go to classy weddings. I don't know. But a lot of So just so everybody's familiar, you, you get a hotel, you get a wedding invitation. It'll say, hey, accommodations, you know, just say the Foley Ryan. I'm here for the Foley Ryan wedding. All right. I'm um, just going. Get my and hands on some of that money. You get like a discounted rate. And the discounted rate stinks. It's typically you save like 20 bucks or something. Like, what are we doing? Um, But they off- they typically offer two hotels. If you're a classy guy, you'll do two hotels. Hey, we're at the W and we're at the fucking. No, you don't do that. No, you do that because like to some. I just did it right before COVID hit. The beginning of March, we went. It was like. The Marriott was the one, and the other was the Lowe's. You didn't even have a real wedding. That doesn't count. That's just not my wedding. Oh, who's who's wedding? Who got married? <laughs> was it? He a nice... just contrad. He just had whatever I say. He takes the opposite. Was it side. a nice service? <laughs> it was very nice down yeah. in Philly at the Lowe's Hotel. Ooh, but the Marriott's like the, like right across the Marriott's right across the street. If you know what I mean. You said in a Marriott in Providence not too long ago. <laughs> Good. Oh, great story. You should do it. <laughs> Can I get my? Can I get a host in here? <laughs> Good hot dogs up in up in Rhode Island. Probably been making them in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Foley brings a roller. No, no, no! I'll carry this up. I'll, don't touch my bags. <laughs> Do you put the privacy? Sir, side? Can you send an extension cord up to room to room one hundred and two? You're on the first floor. <laughs> if you guys have any gloves? That'd be good to. You, you set a pair of tongs up. Some relish station, maybe. Oh. Do you do the? I do. Do you do the no pride? You put the privacy thing on when you check in. I don't want them coming in and cleaning. Uh, it depends how long I'm there for. If I'm on the road, yeah. How if I'm like, a, if, been, what's the longest you've been in a hotel? Uh, like four nights or whatever. What, like recently. Divorced? Like if I go on the road, if I go away to fucking do road work, you're there for like three or four nights. Okay. Um. So yeah, I don't want people in my room. Mm-mm. Especially because I'm not doing much. I don't want them rooting around my fucking five 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 dominoes deal either. I don't want them throwing that shit out. Leave that sit for a couple days. You know what I mean, Daddy? Oh, that bacon only gets better with age. <laughs> um, no. Uh, but what I do like to do if it's a wedding and everybody's going in for the weekend, the weekends are fun. You go in the night before if you're in the party or whatever. If you're going for the night, you get the hotel room. Listen, of course. So if you're going for a weekend, which unless I unless you're close. Because I didn't get the I didn't get the room for my cousin's wedding. We, yeah, we you're were, spending at Nobu. <laughs> I didn't owe you any more money. <laughs> we were 45 minutes down the road. Yeah, Plus yeah, I yeah. Take the old man home. He can't, yeah, yeah, he, of he can't stay overnight anymore. Um, no, but I'm saying which is fun is uh, you do the uh, you and a couple of buddies get the Airbnb. So you yeah. have the party house because otherwise, if you're there for two or three nights, the Airbnb is nice. Uh, all right, okay. If that's what you want to do. Now, do you want to know what class does? What gentlemen's do? Not give a gift at the wedding and drive home that night? Who said I didn't give a gift at the wedding? Uh, well, by the way, let's get into it. What did you give? 
Can you is that isn't it crass to say that publicly? <laughs> if you're embarrassed by it, sure. <laughs> Depends what you get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I did two bills cash in an envelope. It's not bad. It's good. It's Tw- average. Twenties. Tw- nah. Oh, I had that. Didn't have- you gave fucking eight twenties and twenties. I figured if you got to break somebody off. What? Yeah, you got to grease somebody. No, you, you go hun- hundos. Twenties. You- Might as well put a roll of quarters in there. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the coin star receipt. What's the most you ever gave? Close family. You're not, I bet you're not over, over 175. No, I'll do... Uh, walking around in your H&M suit. I think... I don't know. I'd have to ask. He's listening to this. If you wrote it down, Nick, text me and tell, tell me. I Probably two to three bills. Three bills, huh? Two to three bills. Doing pretty good, I huh? think if it's you if it's you and the... I'm going with me and the lady. Of course. You do one... I think I did 150, 150, probably. 150? Yeah, That's 150, a weird number. 150 ahead. You go evens. Oh, do you fucking 1920? You probably shorted that at 22. <laughs> <laughs> he put one. He put one less twenty in there to try to get away with it. <laughs> he opened up the card on the way there. You probably take two envelopes with you, don't you? <laughs> you get see how the crab cakes are. Oh, <laughs> take man. one out. Yeah. Um, yes, that is fucking garbage. To answer your question, well, you see, it's nice to stay at the at the hotel where everybody is. That way, when you come back from the wedding. You just all get boozed up in the lobby of the hotel, and then you just go right upstairs. Yeah. You go to bed. Then you're up fresh in the morning. You get up early in the morning. You take a nice shower, and you get down there for the fucking brunch. I agree, but the hotel bar tends to close a little early. They're That's, not fucking 2, 3, 4 a.m. Well, we That's ha- why if you got a fucking spot around the corner, a little, little smoky smoky, a little party, you got the tunes going. That's what you do. Okay? Well, okay. Y- you... Had a solution for that, and we did the same thing at my brother's wedding. When the bar's closing down, you just ran out before paying the bill. No, you just say, "Give me, uh, give me twelve Heinekens before they close it out." You're drinking Heinekens at a wedding? Why not? No, it was the early two thousands. It's on. It's it's on the cuff. Puffy was drinking them back then. What do you mean? We didn't know any better. Yeah. Um. No, I always go liquor at a wedding. I'm a big cocktail guy these days. Believe it or not, I'm kind of done with the beers. Like a nice, like, like a nice margarita. Nobu made a real nice one. Yeah. Forty five dollars. Yeah. Somebody said all class can't be. That's what I like. Somebody said nose beers too. <laughs> Don't Ooh. know what you're talking about. Yikes. Um, I got one. You um you this is a this is a me personal one that was I didn't think it was trashy until it was phrased this way. So I was going home this weekend, I was talking to uh, a buddy. He's like, Oh, you know what are, what are you doing? I said, Going down to uh, my family's, my mom's house, right? She's away for the weekend, so I got the house and the burbs to myself. Where's she slutting around this weekend? <laughs> Jesus Christ, she listened. <laughs> Shout out, Denise. Um, Where was she? They were down the shore. So I got, I, got the, I got the house to myself in the burbs. Mm-hmm. Nice green grass, deer coming up while you're out there smoking ciggies, drinking beers, doing it nice. My only problem with you posting the videos <sighs> of your back, you don't have a pool. You have a pool that's above ground. Yeah. And I think it's in your I think it's in your driveway. <laughs> I've never seen it during the winter, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Do you take it down? I've been to Foley's house, I've never seen the pool. So you tell me. It's like a what's, carnival. What's, <laughs> <laughs> not a neighbor's got it. Moved two towns over. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be back. Um what? But so my my stepdad's dad, right? My stepdad's dad. Right. Passed away. Okay. But he had a house with a pool. Mm-hmm. And now we're talking. We still my you know that that the You f- stole the pool stuff and sold it. No, that house is still in the family, but no really? one lives there. Oh, here we so go. So I go over and we use the pool. It's like fucking, you know, it's Who's cl- taking care of the pool. It's Club Ryan over there. Oh, the kid the kids are guys. We it's just like we, we use it like it's our pool. And then my buddy goes, wait, let me get this straight. You're driving two hours down to use a dead guy's pool? And I said, oh, if you phrase it that way, it is pretty fucking trashy. Who's taking care of it? They pay somebody. Uh, Yeah, somebody, like, some family friend comes and skims and does whatever. He's not still in the house, is he? You guys reported to death, I hope. They just turned the air conditioner down a little bit. <laughs> keep him, keep, keep him, the social security keep, checks coming. Keep him on ice. Um. No. Yeah. And then I guess. Yeah. I'm like. Oh. Yeah. We're just using a dead guy's pool. It's pretty trashy when you look at it that. Well, way. Why don't you make an offer on that house? That way you can have a you can have a summer place. Offer on the house. Make it a family discount plus, <laughs> plus a bereavement fee. <laughs> <laughs> nah. He can stay. He can stay. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I felt real trashy once it was. I go. Yeah. I guess we're just. And now everybody in the family using it. Cousins. Like, dude. Sometimes you Do go. You just go inside. 
Yeah, if you have to go to the bathroom or whatever. Oh, that's fucking garbage. I know. Man. I know. I know. Is there a pool house? No. But sometimes you go and there's people there that you don't know, and I'm like, all right, Ooh. just like yeah, it's a clubhouse. It is, dude. It's everybody that everybody that's ever known clubhouse. this guy is just using the pool. I don't know if that's legal. If you can have a pool if no one's occupying the house, is there a fence around the pool? <laughs> what all you said? Are you fucking what? Johnny Zonewall? What are you talking about? What does about? that even mean? What are you talking it's about? It's illegal to... Y- well, you can't have... In Pennsylvania, you can't have a pool unless you have a fence around Yeah, it. what's that say about anybody living in a house? Because there's no one there to, to watch it. <laughs> Do you have a fence or not? Who's watching your pool right now? There's people there. Do you have a fence around the pool? Yes, you have to. Is there a lock on it? Yes. Do you know the code? <laughs> Yeah, I just jump it though. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Oh, my jumping fence days are over. <laughs> you got a better job, whatever. There was jumping fence days for you? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I top a fence, climb it up, jump it over. Not now though. What was now I'm a nobu. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> um What? This is another one we got. Uh this uh, have you ever packed clothes in a trash bag instead of a suitcase? And that's from Chad. Are you asking me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's tough. This is the first apartment that I've had where I've been like a human being, like with me and my girl, like, you know, like furniture and shit like that. Especially up here. When we moved up here, I was fucking, you know, I had no nothing. Eating tuna every night. That's all I had was a trash bag. I was in a trash bag, you know? Sure. When I moved from uh, Astoria to Bushwick, our buddy Siobhan moved us. That was all trash bags. Yeah, always. If you had to move right now, what are you moving it? Because I'm moving this week. If and- I if I had them, we're talking about it, all right? Because we want to maybe, maybe get a two-bedroom or take advantage of the, uh, or, uh, the, <laughs> the downturn in real estate in New York City. That's what we did. If, you need, a, Hank, if Uncle- you need a co-signer, <laughs> let the kid know. Uncle Hank might be on the Upper, upper East Side by Tuesday. Uh, if I move again with the amount of things, I'm definitely getting a mover. I'm not, do- I'm not doing that anymore. No way. Movers all the way. Um, but still, what do you put in, what do you put in the clothes in boxes? Yeah, I'm putting the clothes in boxes or fucking bags. Or, you got box or money? This guy's got fucking box we money. We got box money. Um, because we're getting ready to move this week, and we're talking. I'm out of town. We're just, I, don't need, I don't need you fucking having a heart attack on the second That's floor. That's another thing. I'm not helping anybody move anymore either. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan. Um, I think, because my, my wife is like, oh, yeah, for the clothes, we'll just use trash bags. I'm like, and we're moving into a nice building in a nice neighborhood. I'm going, I ain't walk. I, my first impression ain't being carrying fucking Listen, she's a tall good, kitchen she's a, bags with cold sh- with fucking my <laughs> jeans in them. Scented ones. Smell you coming <laughs> Everything out smells all. like vanilla when I get upstairs. <laughs> Listen, she's a good kid. She's new in town. Don't fucking embarrass us up there. I, I, that's what I said. I said, no fucking way are we doing that. This ain't Hizzlehoff or Dusseldorf, I'll, wherever I'll, I'll, she rolls. I'll put all of my clothes on and walk into the house <laughs> like a gym. <laughs> Steal a hotel cart? <laughs> Is the pool open by any chance? Um, yeah, that's, that's a tough one. That's, I had a girl. Um, I knew a girl who goes to shows. Flaming Lips. And when so, she comes song's home, called she uh, Tangerine, I believe. Blows her nose, yeah. Uh, or she don't use jelly is the name of the song. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, but I had a girl break up with me one time, and I knew, it was, I knew it was serious because she put all my clothes in trash bags, and they were waiting for me when I got there. Sweet free bags? <laughs> <laughs> you dumb broad? Thanks, honey. <laughs> got this broad coming and going, huh? Everything comes up fully. <laughs> Got some. I got. I got four free, four free hefty bags. Uh, she folded everything and put them in the trash bag. So that's why I knew it was it was serious because she took a lot of thought, mm-hmm. folded them up. Yeah, never had that. That's like a fucking REM video or Have something. Have you ever REM? I don't know. Have you <laughs> thinking some fucking shit bag band that you used to listen to in the nineties? I'm surprised you knew the Flaming Lips. You're a Kanye guy. You're a hip hop guy. <laughs> Who do you like, Takashi Two One Three? What's his name? Yeah, that's who I like. Um, have you ever been broken up? You, have you ever been dumped? No, no, never been in a real relationship uh, before I mean, this. I used to make my living getting dumped. That's how I did it. <laughs> no, it doesn't take in dumps. <laughs> I owe. Hey, I've never been the breaker up. The breaker up. E. 
I've always been the Yeah, person you can't who... do it. No. Um, all right, let's do one, one or two more, and then we'll hop into the big contest. This is big. What's at stake here? Free t-shirt? Two free tees. Two? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. We'll do, we'll do, you get one Garbaggio and one free clean living. If you already have bought one, we'll give you the opposite color. Or whatever you want. Yeah, whatever you so want. So if you bought a white Garbaggio, we'll give you a black Garbaggio and a clean living of your choice. Okay. If you if it's more than an XL, you have to pay extra. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be at the you. By like the way, that. we got to work on some big boy sizes for the next pre-sale, Dell. You know that dude wanted a six X, bro. We don't. Well, that's nuts. Why is that that's nuts? Fucking custom. What do you? Yeah. <laughs> that's a petite small at DXL. I'll what do you mean? Two shirts if he wants. And a fucking pair of scissors. Yeah. We got to get the iron-ons going. That was my that was my brain. That was my genius idea. What? Start doing iron-ons. That way you could they could put them on whatever clothing that fits them. Yeah, but it's <laughs> buying it's like fi- it's buying a 6X shirt. That's not how business works. Business is What do you mean? I listen, fatso. I don't have the, I don't have the fucking time to explain There's that much difference with that's you. Th- that much difference in overhead cost between a 3X and a 6X. Well, if you're buying 500 fucking large shirts, Five, five. How many fat listeners do we have? No, when they buy the shirts for the show, they buy 500 at a time. Really? Instead of going to buy one 6XL. And people really don't probably stock 6XL. I know. When was the last time you were in pennies and caught a 6XL? Catching the clearance rack every once in yeah, a while. Yeah, right. Somebody um, that bought it online and then returned it. Uh, let's do one more here. Let's make it a goodie. Hit me. I love the wedding one. That's great. That was, dude, he, yeah. I got that like two weeks ago and I was like, I gotta fucking save this one. Yeah, you stay at the hotel down the street. That's... Because otherwise, uh, how are you getting back? Because a lot of times they do like the shuttle from the one place to the other. Everybody's hopping in and you you gotta get to the bus station. You gotta take a Greyhound. Hey, you run me to the Howard Johnson's real quick? <laughs> Anybody going down towards the river or whatever? Because let me tell you something. Those shuttle drivers at weddings are usually fucking pricks. Oh, they don't yeah. want to do anything. Yeah, well, they're working on a Saturday night with a bunch yeah. of drunk assholes. I take an Uber. I don't need to be dependent upon anybody. An Uber? Well, a lot of times they're like, oh, yeah, the shuttle's coming back. And then it's like, well, there's only one shuttle and it's got to go. It's like, it takes fucking 10 hours to get back. Meanwhile, you smoked 500 cigs. The bar's closed. Mm-hmm. Fucking mum's the word. I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm getting the fucking out. Get, get, the, get the last chopper. Get out. Some drunk ant on there busting balls. Um. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. All right. This is a. Let's do this one. Is from Suki the Suki. Ooh. Have you ever uh, brought a bag of loose beers to a party or gathering? Loose beers? Or just like you know, whatever. You grab a couple out of the fridge and like we're you know, you're not walking in with a package, six pack, twelve pack. You're coming in with like two white claws, a fucking IPA, well, let me two ask, Mountain Dews. Let me. All right, now you're talking my language. A couple of code reds, fucking spark the party up. Now, here's the thing: are they artisanal beers? Like you know, an IPA. That's this different. And that. But it, also, you're buying a six pack of it. Unless you're like a beer snob, where I wouldn't understand what kind of beer it is, and mm. it's got those it's in the cans with the crazy labels. Unless you're bringing those loose, that's artisanal. But if you're rolling up with like. A fucking Bud Heavy, two Coors Lights, a fucking Schlitz. <laughs> you got a fucking problem. Half a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, that's trash. I had a... Re- this summer, somebody had came over to my parents to go swimming. Um, uh, a relative by marriage. Okay, now you know how we do it. What'd you charge them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know how we do it. And we, you know, we pride ourselves on, you know, don't bring anything, you don't need nothing. Fucking that's real their bullshit. Um, I'm good for something, I swear to God. I might suck in life, but I'll give you meatballs. But he showed up with his own little <laughs> little cooler of, of beers. Miller Lights. Cans. Wait, he showed up with a cooler? A little, like a little mini, like a like. Well, this personal. is the problem. If you're bringing, you bring for everybody. You don't bring for yourself. If you show up to somewhere Trash. bringing for yourself, when they said, hey, we got plenty of stuff, and you only bring beer for yourself, that's trashy. You should bring at least a 12-pack to be like, hey, I'll leave. I'll drink six, and if nobody else wants them, I'm leaving them for you guys, for no, whatever. He, he kept them in those little, his little cooler, and like when he got there and sat down or whatever, you know, obviously you go around, hey, can, what can I get you guys a drink? Can I get you something? Can I get you something to drink? He's like, nah, I, I, got, uh, I got some beers in the, in the cooler. And I'm like, what? I'm like, he's like, yeah, I brought a few beers. I'm like, we got fucking a whole fridge mm-hmm. of fucking ice-cold fucking bottles of beer. 
and he just drank he just drank his. That's weird. That's a garbage move. Yeah. Yeah, you can't bring Trash. a fucking head stash unless it's like <laughs> <laughs> unless it's like a fucking buy, you know, it's a late night thing and you're like, oh, "I'll bring oh, just I kind of everybody bring what you got, like bring for yourself type thing." You that know stuff I mean? gives me major social anxiety. <laughs> what? Just like those situations like that. Like I could never be that guy that brings something just for himself. I'd have to, you know, everything, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, share of course. everything. Of, well, like if I call and I'm like, hey, do you guys need beer? And they're like, no, just, br-, you know what I mean? Like we're good here. Just bring for whatever you have. Then I would grab a six or a 12, like sure, for me. But sure. I, like if I was going over someone's house for a hang mm-hmm. and I said, hey, do you need beer? They're like, no, we're good. And I'm like, well, I, want, I still want to bring my fucking six beers for myself. You bring more than the six beers for yourself yeah, as right. a gesture. It's like a bottle of wine. You're le- Given they don't want the six beers, it's the, you know. That's like, I don't like a potluck. You know what a potluck yeah, is? Yeah, I don't fuck with, the, dude, I would never do a fucking potluck in my life. Give me a waiter. I don't want to go to your house and eat some bad fucking marshmallow <laughs> yams or some shit. Give me a waiter with a special a little and a fucking appetizer. And I hit the, you know, ambrosia, hit the bricks <laughs> with that shit. I love it. This is, then we'll get, oh, this will be, I don't know if I've ever told you this story. We went away, me and like 10 friends. We rented a mountain house uh, years ago. And it was like, they, you know, everybody brings the food. Everybody throw up a hundred bucks or whatever. Fifty covers the house for everybody, and the the other fifty, you know, half of it goes to beer, half of it goes to food. And we just hang at the house. You go to the grocery store when you get there. <clears throat> no, I think people brought it up. We were like, you know, someone went shopping and was like, hey, it was two hundred, and I'm like, oh, we'll go get three hundred dollars worth of beer, whatever it is. You know, mm-hmm. everybody puts up a hundred bucks, mm-hmm. chop it up, go mm-hmm. home, you know, whatever. So we were staying for three nights, and uh, someone could only <laughs> someone could only stay for uh, two nights, so they were leaving. Before the last night, you know? Okay. So we're sitting there grilling and everything, and uh, everybody, the, the people that are leaving leave, and this, this this girl leaves, and she leaves, and then we grilled, right? And we, like, sat down for dinner. This girl had already left. Took the buns with her? Took the ketchup. What? She took the ketchup home with her because she bought the ketchup. So now you got, like, ten people who are having a barbecue with no ketchup, <laughs> and we're in the middle of the fucking woods, and we're like... We're sitting there, and we're like, dude, there was a four-gallon thing of ketchup here. You know Forget what I mean? Forget about like, it. <laughs> like, <where the> <laughs> that got me. I got to give you that. I got to laugh. And we're like, where the fuck did this broad came, took the ketchup home with her? Oh, that's dude, fucking bad. We were like, who is like, oh, I need this $6 or whatever, because it was a big one or whatever, but still. Taking it home, leave, dude. You're leaving ten people at a cabin high and dry as we sit down for a barbecue with no fucking fun sauce. That's real shifty. I went to, uh, I went to a friend's country club for dinner. All right, this was years ago. Now I don't know if you know how country clubs work. You're a fucking bozo from fucking Bucks County. <laughs> yeah, but my, at a, at my a family a belongs to country clubs. Private. Yeah. What's the name of it? Manufacturers. Hmm. Guest pass? I think you know the gentleman. <laughs> I believe I know the gentleman from Bucks County. Um, okay, so you know that when you when you, when you're a member of a country club, you got to spend a certain amount of cash. You got to spend. Yeah, you got to. So it's like a two thousand dollar restaurant minimum or something. Yeah. yeah. So me and my lady get the invite from their parents to go. Okay. Okay. We got to get through this, but yeah. All right. So me, we get the invite. It's so it's uh, it's me and my girl. Him and his girl and his parents. His when was fucking this? parents. Years ago. Okay. Years ago. I didn't know you then. Okay. I was a different guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wasn't always a guy. He wasn't always a stand-up. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, production team. He wasn't always this fucking stand-up stud we got going on over here. He was a different guy. Okay? Don't blame him on these actions alone. It stole the silverware. <laughs> Anywho, the check comes. Now, I've worked at fucking country clubs all my life. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Meadowlands Country Club. No longer there. Uh, I know how it works. So I'm thinking, I'm fucking crab cakes. Not over-ordering, but I'm having a nice meal. <laughs> You're not under-ordering either, though. <laughs> I'm not having a fucking appetizer for my entree, I'll tell you that. Yeah. The fucking bill comes, and the old man fucking says, ah, just give me 200 We'll call Ooh. it even. I'm like, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. That's, what that's the? A You're making move. money off of me. Yeah, yeah, because he's got to spend it regardless. Yeah. That's a fucking... Fucking trash. That's a trash move. If you got the money, you jump on the grenade. Even if you don't have it, I'd pay... I'd let my card get declined before I had somebody for that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know I don't like that split and check shit. Yeah, because you're a waiter. I got you. That's right. Um, I was a server. Okay. Was. Things a, are going very well. Had a fucking takeout burger joint. I got you. <laughs> 
Um, all right, guys, let's fucking get into it. Yes, sir. This, the reason we're all here. This is the time. So, Dill, I think we're going to go into it, and then we're going to go, we're going to announce, we're going to do the build up, right? Yeah, so whenever you guys want me, I can do the intro. Yeah, do then... the intro, and then um, and cut it to us, and then we'll get into the and then, yeah, and then the, we'll the, 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 the participants. Yes. yes. Very nice. Ooh. This is it, baby. That's my mom's garage. <laughs> Her dildo falls out. The RV Garbage <laughs> Garage Bridge 2020 Contest starts right now. <laughs> you got to get a haircut. It's a some, looker. Put some product in that thing. No, no. Look at that. Spending all the graphic money here. Look at this digital. guy, huh? Ooh, love Fucking it, baby. Pro Tools Dylan back there. I like it. Um, all right, so this is how it's going to go. We're going to run through some honorable mentions, some participants. This could be either like really trashy or really good good but just not good enough you know what i mean these are kind of little over the board and then we got you know um then we're gonna announce the winner as well so uh dill and then me and foley have ours when do you want to run ours let's do ours first let's do ours first i was about to say yeah let's, yeah. Op let's open with your guys cool, right? cool cool awesome do kevin wants first. to go first all right bet this was unstocked my mom's current fridge I did put the loganitas right. in there that's mine that's okay. Foley's. all right we'll roll with this so this, this is, is foley pause it real quick so that's my mom's garage. <laughs> okay. That's a Heckinger's uh, tool. <laughs> I right. know. That, thing's about to, that rack's about to fall over, by the way. All right. So now, as Kevin was saying, this was, this was, uh, they weren't, this is the end, this is the end of the summer. All right. Yeah. The end of the season. Deal. Go back to the, go back to the, yeah, so, so we can see it. So this is what's left there. All right. What's that music? <laughs> that Foley, that thought, was... Foley thought he was having a heart attack. <laughs> you guys hear angels? <laughs> <laughs> guys, I think I'm dead. You guys, you guys somebody smell. Put me in a, somebody put me in a freezer. You guys smell burnt toast. Nobody swim in my pool. Nobody swim in a dead man's pool. Swimming in a dead man's pool. <laughs> so this is the end of the season. Go ahead, though. You can play it through. It looks admirable. So we got some Oduls on the left there for a couple Did of the family just members your phone? that have an issue. <laughs> I was trying to do like some cool stuff. Look, we got uh, Bud Lights. We got uh, MG or uh, Miller Genuine Drafts. We got waters for the kids. <laughs> okay, and then we got those ice oh, things. Oh, wait, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Back <laughs> it up, daddy-o. Those ice things, what are they? They're great. They're, they're, so they're like 38 cents. You get 4 million of them. <laughs> I know. Dude, The first I found them in my mom's garage fridge, too, the first time I ever have one. Suck that down with a cold turkey they're sugar, and cheese. They're sugar-free, <laughs> long boys. That's what they say. Mango, black raspberry, Dude, all kinds of weird flavors. That orange mango is <laughs> fucking clean living, daddy -o. That thing is something else. And I don't, know, I don't know if they if they couldn't afford, like, full carbonation in them, but they go down real smooth. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got a little, little bite to them, though, too, <laughs> in, a, in a good way. All right, that's an admirable fridge. You got your different beers. Pull up your dill. Can you pull up, like, a still shot of it at just some point? Give me, like, a, give me a two-shot. <laughs> 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 well, you didn't look at the freezer yet. Okay, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and play that. And hey, gang, you can always make sure if you're listening to this, go over to YouTube, watch it on YouTube, or sign up gasdigitalnetwork.com. You can watch it in HD. Use promo code AYG. <laughs> Or you can watch it in uh, SD. Somebody just said, oh, no, it's Aaron just said, why do moms always have Sprite or 7-Up? <laughs> <laughs> those are airplane cans, too. They're not full cans. Oh, uh, that's juicy. I don't you know. got those on discount I don't somewhere. know where she got them fucking things. She's hanging out at the airport again. <laughs> <laughs> Down there in Cargo City, baby. <laughs> So when the planes land, you're in charge. Huh? Oh, we got to get through these. Okay, <laughs> milk it up. All right, all right, Dill, show us his. Uh, yeah, okay. Just let this play through them. Yeah, you got the ices, you got the fruit drinks, you got the ices. Oh, got look at us in the corner right there. That's fucking nice. It's fucking nice. We got fucking. You got the sodas. Studio. I don't see my. I don't see many diet options in that fridge though. I'll tell you that. What are you having a stroke? <laughs> Put the camera. Look, crimpets, fresh bag of ice, the big bag, a little bit of turkey. Turkey. In case I... somebody sprains an ankle, I got a fucking <laughs> ice pack, ice pops, fucking two things of butter Three in there. Three things of butter. Yep, and then we got That's so paper trashy, towels. dude. All the paper towels. On. What's that carpet? What, you fucking rob Willy Wonka? <laughs> got the fucking the, the red and white arrow carpet. We got old rugs in there. Keep the oil stains uh, That's away. not too shabby. That's an average fridge. That's it's an, nice, right? That's an average fridge. That's end of the summer. Okay, all right, I'll give it to you. It's end of the summer. Um, Forgot to take that can of paint. All right, Dill, run, uh, run mine, please. 
This is my this is this is my mother's fridge. The and I have to say the only thing I did, I did put in there was uh, the the beer for me. That's all. I just put in one sixer for me. And which I want to say is I realize is trash is we leave everything in that's uh, fucking we leave trash. everything in the box. You know what I mean? First things first. Hit them with the boom. Lagunitas IPA, not bad. Because uh, I'm a fucking gentleman, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Solo Lacroix, you got tomato some juice. When you want to go slumming, you know what I mean. My Cut the Peroni tape. back there for my European Peroni. friend. Shout out. One Peroni. There's a couple of Coronas what are those back things? there. You know, pickled for, hot uh, sausage. Mexicans. Shout out to them. What the fuck is that in the Get back? My Cokes. Yo, he's got eyeballs you know, in his fridge. Sprites for Yo, the go back. Kevin's got a what thing of eyeballs. Back there for my European <laughs> what was that? They're like pickled tomatoes. Oh, what are you? What is this? Moe's Tavern? <laughs> Pickled tomatoes? <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs> they came with the house. <laughs> Pickled to me. Look there. at that. <laughs> Herbs pickled hot sausage. <laughs> Holy shit. They were there when we Herbs moved. when you know you're trash. <laughs> they were there when we moved in. Okay. With a name like Herbs, it's got to suck. A couple of Rocky Mountain oysters back there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This guy's got whale nuts in the fridge. That's disgusting. <laughs> And a loop, well, wait, hold on. Well, what's with this? You got three loose Coronas, back Coronas there, you know, for, That's just whatever's uh, left over from the, from the season. Them. You got your Diet Cokes, like a gentleman. Diet Sprites for the ladies. Who keeps milk in the what garage else? fridge? You got OG Coca-Cola, screaming that's cold. Gross. Case of White Claws. Some Capri Suns for the kitties. That's fucking one percent too. This guy ain't one you of us. You got milk, one percent, which is some fucking bullshit. Have to talk to moms about that. Rosenberg. Oh, there you go. I mean. There's some points you right got there. Some screaming Rosenberg. cold Pepsis. What is that? Easter you candy? Got some weird pickle <laughs> sausages. Some weird shit in the back. Not really yeah, sure. You got those single fucking some dips. Leftover Easter candy. <laughs> yeah. You know, Who I got some, some <laughs> random assorted what things. What offensive wait, coordinator? But then this, talk about new fucking money. We got a bottle of Dom Perignon. <laughs> in the garage fridge. 2002, in the fucking That's garage fridge. That is as Ricky Bobby as you can fucking get. Are you even supposed to keep it cold, or is it supposed to be warm? I think you're supposed to keep Serve it chilled, probably. You don't keep it chilled. Um, yeah, obviously, they're getting ready to celebrate something. Dude, that's been in there since 2002. Someone's about to get the dust knocked off of him, I'll tell you that. The old Kippy's lady's about to have a new brother, huh? <laughs> <Break that debris. laughs> Cutting Break, in on the inheritance. Breaking out the Dom Perignon. Oh, huh? that's too funny, Woo. dude. Those two weird meats and the ones like tomatoes or something? I don't know what it is, dude. It's just It's been in there since I can remember. Yeah, that's... Man, pickled hot sausage. Well, I don't even know you. Dude, nobody's ever touched them. I don't know where they came from. Yeah. I honestly don't. The what we do know a guy who owns like a meat store. So I think like it came from there, I guess. I don't fucking know. Uh-huh. When was he over? <laughs> what? I don't know. All right. Let's get into some of the listeners to do. That was too funny. What's that? Holy shit, that was really good. So these are the runner-ups. These right are the runner-ups. These are the, you know, uh notable mentions, let's say. Great job on the graphics, though. Guys, if you step your game up next year, you know, you might be in the you might be in contention. All right, let's take a peek. What's up, Uncle Hank? Big Kippy. Bry. Hey, Big Bry. Do my video for this great American pastime called the beer fridge. This is my beer fridge. Start out with the freezer side. Got some Omaha steaks like a gentleman. A little bit of mold, too, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey. Get the bleach, will you, be? <laughs> God damn, give that thing a wipe down. I might have weird food, but you got mold, daddy -o. That's nasty. <laughs> Plus, has he got a little wackaroo in him? He's, he's, <laughs> he's all, he sounds a little, little he's got a little, little gapped side. up. It's all high on mold. All right, now we're getting That's a fridge. Damn, that's pretty good. Let's just keep that still frame for a second. Yeah. I see you got the coffee mate on the bottom, which isn't too bad. You can put that out there. Butter and coffee mate are the only dairy products that should be in the garage fridge. All right, uh, milk boy? Unless it's an overflow. Uh, overflow? Yeah. You're using that much milk where you got to put a half a gallon in the fridge? Yeah, she watches the kids. All right, I guess so. Red. I mean, but you got multiple beers in there. You got the Coors Lights. You got, got, the, the you got some nitro. You got some good beers. You got some Dos Equis. You got something else in the blue that I can't tell, but I would have some. Looks like you got some strawberry yogurts. Not to, dude, the Gatorade, the 32-ounce Gatorade or whatever that is, is a fucking home run pick. I don't know what They're it, two for three, a Wawa. I don't know what it is. Gatorade must freeze at a lower temperature. 
because I put a Gatorade in the freezer, and I swear it's like 31, 32 degrees. They are so fucking Yeah, that's why I, I use it in my car. So it huh? <laughs> this guy. All right. <laughs> Run it. <laughs> we're running out of time here. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. We're having a good time. All right. I, we got your, your seltzers, your light beer section. What's in those to-go? Your IPAs. Your light beer, uh, light beer section. Some porch rockers. Some Sam. winter ale. Some Gatorades for the kids. Damn. Some coffee mate for the men. Borja, Borsan cheese, too. Some Baileys. That's pretty good, That's dude. pretty good, man. That's a, that's a runner up. That's that's a runner up. That's Holy a nice garage shit. Right All right, there. Big B on the board, Daddy. Shout out. That looks good, dude. Living life down there at the beach, Big Bri. All right, all right. That's fucking nice, dude. Let's get into the next one, Dill. <clears throat> Holy shit. What the fuck? Yo, you thought I was weird. Wait a minute. You're going to have a hard time finding a classier individual on my Also, side. I did not add this music. This is all his production. You got chilled red so wine. enjoy this. Just enjoy. A couple bottles of Lon Saron. As our buddies across the Atlantic. Cut to the say, girl you have tied up in the corner. <laughs> this guy's got creepo <laughs> mode on him. What do you got? A bunch of wieners in jars over there. Georgia Peach Coca Cola. Where do you even 80s, find if that? If you're looking for a southern gentleman, Canada Dry. Aquafina's okay. Aquafina, not quite Fiji, but not quite <laughs> Not Wilson. even close to Fiji. Fiji, dude, you couldn't even pick out Fiji on a map. Okay? You got a mixer in there. Uh, what? This is a fucking runner-up. Come on. You got Natty Light. For the 110% South Carolina white hillbilly trash. South Carolina, though. I'll give him that. That's I feel sweet. like he snuck into the neighbor's garage and was doing this <laughs> He's video. whispering it <laughs> so he doesn't wake him up. <laughs> ladies and the more effeminate guests. Holy shit. Diet ginger ale, that's uh, bad points as far as I'm concerned. No good. You tried. I'll give you that. You tried. You got one or two nice things. You got one or two, you know, honorable mentions. Why did you open up with the fucking pickles or whatever, the alien bodies in there? What the fuck is that? Yikes. Stop, everybody. Stop making your own shit, okay? (laughs) It ain't going to get that bad. Stop my brother all summer fucking making pickles. Oh, my God. Stop with it. Wait, they're making pickles. They're making pickles over there. Not bad, I'll tell you that. Times must be done. But stop that. Stop making yeah. that pickles. <laughs> That's trash. Um, good job. I mean, hey, thanks for thanks for sending in. It was okay at best. I'll give you an okay. It was a passing grade. We definitely saw worse. That was a passing grade, though. The production quality was great. I'll give you. You, you got a music, couple of freeze frames. The you know. creepy voice. <laughs> but that would definitely be in the HBO the horror in the selection. Basement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell your neighbors to get rid of the pickles. Will you? <laughs> Who directed that? Josh Whedon? Uh, what's going Somebody on? Somebody said, what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> uh, all right. Hmm. Let's see what we got. What is this now? You still a runner up, Dill? Uh, five days old. Uh, this is like two, three weeks old. Oh, Ordered just last night. Oh Shit ton of beer. That's about two weeks old. This is about two weeks old. Jesus. That's good meat, though. Oh, I love those potatoes. <laughs> I love those. Pause it. Pause it. I, I love those fucking. Yeah. Those simply. Shout out to the simply potatoes. All right. Take it. Hold on. Take it. frame on Foley's face when he realizes those potatoes. They're great. Dude, take it from the top again, please. Sorry. Okay. All right, just hold Keep it here. There. Hold it Pause here. It. First of all, this is a mess. You have way too many takeout containers, and you didn't eat out. You didn't eat takeout that many times this week. Why so some you, of those are old. Why do you have that? What the <laughs> fuck? How many hot it? peppers he's got? <laughs> <laughs> this guy opened a hoagie shop. This guy, this guy puts my mom to shame. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. He's listening to the show, though. I get uh, There's five cam- days old. Kombucha back there. That's uh, pretty classic. Like two, three weeks old. But everything's a Ordered mess. Ordered just last night. Shit ton of beer. That's about two there. weeks old. This is about two weeks That's old. That's good meat, too, right there. Dirty as fuck. We don't fucking do our own potatoes in some sort of weird... Oh, dude, that was a science straight experiment. Straight fucking garbaggio. I mean, look. Hot belly, hot kid. peppers, a gallon of... Yeah, tight-looking kid. Pan down on that. Can you see that body's doing it shirtless? <laughs> That's the next contest, the old Are You Garbage Wee Wee contest. Um, yeah, dude, come on. Dude, it's like that's like laziness there. That's not even like quality of brains. You just got bad food in there. The cans are all strewn about. Come on. Yeah, that's not a garage fridge. 
Yeah, that's a fucking that's, that's a that's a cry for help. <laughs> But I like it. I tell you, he had some classy items in there because I don't know. There was the camp- one thing. OK, meat, the square meat. That's just the packaging that you're getting fooled by. That's regular meat overpriced. No, that's usually free range organic. Yeah, whatever. That's fine, though. They sell it at fucking Whole Foods for six bucks. It's and he had a bottle of kombucha in there, which is pretty classy. Yeah. And also 15 things of old takeout. That gets defunct. Yeah, Anybody well, can come across three bucks to get kombucha. Also, this is a good video to point out. Uh, a lot of mini fridges and just dirty garbage regular fridges. Yeah, some so of you So this is where that falls into that category. This is just nasty. Yeah. All right. Uh, buddy, throw out some stuff. You know, you take good care of yourself. Take good care of your fridge. You're a good looking kid. That's right. Don't want it topless. Had a tight body on you. You're letting the fucking fridge go to waste. Come on. <clears throat> Maybe that's why the good-looking guys can get away with it. I got to keep my fridge spotless. You just said you put trash in there. Fair enough. <laughs> Overnight. <laughs> Take it out in the morning. I'm not an animal. All right, what do we got, though? <clears throat> so here we go, right? Guaranteed top-level garbage, 100%. Look at this, dude. And I mean, come on, bro. Mm. Chocolate bars where the butter is supposed to go. Who are you fucking with? Catnip? This, this guy's two missing bags. teeth. I guess. Come on teeth. now. V8 juice, teeth. that shit's been in there for 20 years. Old ass ketchup. We need to go food on, shopping pause it, pause today. It, Don't know what it, the fuck that is. What is with the disorganization of you people? There's fucking down is up, up is down. We're looking for a fucking nice garage fridge. You listen to the show. Hold on, he's got breath mints in the fucking on the door of the fridge. If they're Percocets, that's classic. <laughs> I keep them. I like my like my painkillers. <laughs> I like my PKs on ice, Daddy O. Keep the sheriff's department guessing. You know what I mean? <laughs> the dog can't smell through the fucking kitchen. Ooh, aid. dude, this is nuts. Yeah. Some of you people are animal. Nice beverages, okay? <laughs> Gatorades, fucking ice in the fridge. He's got catnip in there, dude. What are you doing? What are you huffing? You're keeping catnip around. I'll tell you what, though. That spicy brown mustard that's laying down there ain't too shabby. Yeah, I'll give you that. I believe it. Why is it laying shabby. down? Put it up. Would you, would you just have an earthquake? What's happening in there? Oh, man. That was tough. Let's Wait, see the rest of that. Yeah, run that through. From the, yeah, just from there, it's fine. Jeez. Ketchup, we need to go food shopping today. Don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> this guy's Ice great. breakers, even a block of provolone. Come on now, stop it. Stop go. it. Ain't nobody fucking with us. Come on now. Where's the kid? Top tier trash. The kid, they can't fuck with the kid. They can't <laughs> fuck with him. <laughs> this guy's Look, awesome. Come on. CBD in the fridge. We got whatever the hell that is over there. <laughs> Dog food classy. because she comes from the trailer park. We want her to remember her roots or where she came from. Look, look, look. Oh, what's that Batteries one? What's in the that? Son, He's I got that shit. In there. Get out of here. Come on now. I'm more batteries. Come on now. More batteries. What do you want to do, bro? I'm trash all, right, all pause the way. It, pause it. This guy's got multiple places for batteries in the fridge. I, I'm against having batteries in the fridge. It's a dirt ball move. But you got them at one in the produce drawer, the other in the crisper. What's happening? What I want to know, where do they keep the meth? Because <laughs> they both sound This couple is couple fucking of rooted. Dude, dude, they're on uppers, downers, sideways. These guys are all over the fucking place. Ooh. Which, by the way, dude, you win personality, home run. Oh, yeah. This guy is coming he's in. He's a fun. showman. Oh, dude, he's coming in hot. I wanted to do like an obviously drunk award, but oh, everybody wins. Dude, drunk. Year. That guy's on fucking. <laughs> Every, that yeah. guy's on Pluto. He's smoking moon rocks. That guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what, he was selling the sizzle, though. That guy <laughs> moves merchandise. Dude, I would move into that guy's house. All right. Uh, great job. Great yeah. job so far. Yeah, two more honorable mentions. All right. Two great. more honorable this mentions. This is fucking fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody. This is we appreciate so, fu- it. so much fucking fun. A little frightened, but we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, some of you guys. So I call it garbage fabulous. As you can see, I put a uh, patio door okay. inside. I got a magnetic screen for my dog. It's in like a got okay. a chest pause it, freezer. Pause it. Got the energy. For the record, this is like a shipping container. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's got a shipping container on his property. Wow. Wow. Which oh, is pretty well, cool. That's garbage. trendy. You can see I put a uh, patio door in the side. I got a magnetic screen the magnetic, for my dog. The magnetic is nice. Got a chest freezer. Got the energy wow. drink uh, fridge. <laughs> wow. With uh, bourbon. That's nice. Mixers and beer. Mm-hmm. That ain't bad. That's pretty fucking good, dude. Holy shit. If, this, if that fridge, I'm just letting you know, if that, that was in a garage and had food in it, 
would have won. Oh, that's easy, easy, easy. Yeah, easy. dude, that oh, you're you using got a, a Red Bull fridge. You for got food? a Red Bull fridge in a shipping container on your property. My cousin used to have an R two D two one. Okay, play the tape. <laughs> trying to have a, trying to have a <laughs> great story. <laughs> trying to have a good time. Talk to you guys. I like. It. <laughs> hey, my uncle used to have a pair of shoes. Run the tape. <laughs> guys, like, holy shit! More Star Trek guys, huh? All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right, last honorable mention. All right, this is fucking, and we're gonna come right in on the fucking bullet too, right on the number. I love it. All right, in my fancy garbage. I made my garage. That's fucking wow. Nice. To wow. All right, pause it. Pause Wait a minute. It, this is it, an honorable pause mention. It, pause it. Pause Whoa, it. Oh, he's got the fucking TV. The, pause it. This dude hit a fucking home run, Daddy. Corn husker too. Dude, first of all, you know what the classiest? I'm trash. I get it. Whatever. That floor is dude, nice. That's, that's like a pet boy. Dude, that's the classiest thing you can do with the floor. Is do the speckled, the gray or the black floor with the with the specks in it? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, dude, that's commercial. I like how he has the Craftsman theme too. The 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 red, the black, and the silver. It's the Huskers, the corn husker. He's got a huge corn husker. So he's got it on the okay. wall. All right, I thought I saw. Go back. I thought I saw a fucking. Started from the beginning. He's got a huge. I saw floor. that, but I th- also thought I saw like uh, the rack. Yeah, that thing right there okay, in the corner. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just red. He's got a huge more Literally mural. Just a, a, a toolkit. Yeah. yeah. Literally just yeah. every. But it's Craftsman. It's quality. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, got the brand. Yeah. He's got a huge mural on the fucking floor. A mm-hmm. big fucking corn husker Nebraska guy. He's got one on the wall. He's got trim. He's, the walls are white, red, and black. This. Dude, That's also, he's got the cool. tennis ball on the string. Did you see that? That's nice. So when you pull the car and you know when to stop. Mm hmm. Wow. This That's for dude, the Bruds. This is a fucking home run. That's All right. Nice. Let All it right. run. Let it run. Let's check out the fridge. In my garage. The garage fridge in a great location, AK too, right at the bottom of the steps. Thing. You dip out, he's, you yeah, grab what the, you he's need. He's got the flat screen on top of the. Oh. That's pretty classy. Ooh. Ooh. All right, hit that pause. Oh, wait. Open that back up and hit pause, please. Dude, he's got, he's got a box Ooh. of twisted tea. That's nice. Wow. Bo- oh, with a spout on it. Yeah. Wow. He's got some Goose Island. He's got some White Claws. He's got, I don't know what the yellow thing is, but it's pretty good. He's got a Solo Sunkiss down there, too. That's nice. He's got Mango some vodka. Readers. He's got, he's got, damn, dude. That's he's got Red Bulls on the, Red Bulls in the fridge. And I see one two liter of Minute Maid Lemonade. Could be Minute Maid Light. Very, very classy. He's got and. A- a fucking box of pizza. A box of Zago. Can you zoom in on that so I can get a brand on that pizza? That looks... That's... Damn. Uh, uh, looks local. Yeah. All I right. Don't know. Foley the food detective. This it is could, CSI Foley. Could, Lock the doors. No one leaves. It could be Papa zoom John's. Zoom brand. It could be Papa John's. Uh, Papa John's, you're going to lose a couple of points there. Okay, whatever. That's fucking... That Solo Sunkiss looks good. Bay, that's Dude. freezing. Got the he got the, like the fucking margarita, Ooh. the pre mixed margaritas. And, and look at you got the shitty vodka on the on yeah. the on the shelf there. Nice, That's great dude, great fucking job. Wow, buddy. That's clean living. It's going right into there. the freezer. Uh, oh, pause it, pause it. That's what a fucking freezer should yes. look like. All meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. a couple of pop twin pops. That's pretty good. He's got some. That's fucking home run, dude. That's a fucking home. That is a nice. If someone deserves a sticker. Setup. This guy does. Def- definitely something. This yeah, guy didn't win. It. No. This is this is the last honorable mention. Wow, man, that's fucking great. Great job. Wow, it's good. Great fucking job. You guys want to get into the Clean li- Living Award? That, that was the end of the video. Yeah. We might have to give that guy a t-shirt anyway. Hold on, there's two more. So there's the winner, and then there's the Clean Living Award. Yes, right? so yeah, we have, still two so more. We have the Nicer Garbaggio ones. Award. That's all the, all the marbles. And then uh, so, someone sent in one just too, too clean not to put in. There. All right, let's hit the Clean Living Award. Let's see that one. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. <laughs> Dylan. What's up, boys? Uh, we saw this guy. I think in my in office. <laughs> yes, we got have. Got a little AYG up on the TV. Look at the little bar. Yeah. Here's the fridge. Cocktails, shake. Wow. We got some port wine, some Cabernet. My family still owns a vineyard in Italy, so that's the Rizzi wine. Wow. Got some mixers. Look at ready to go. Look at that in the container, but ready to go. Some water, the Pellegrinos. 
Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, my Damn, friend. Damn, dude, that's it. That's a fucking wow. tight operation you got going that's there. That's nice. Wow. Okay, I now, get who that. Who gets a t-shirt? Award? Who gets the t-shirts? Just the winner. Just the winner. Yeah. And anyone winner. else, you guys, listen, it's it's your show. You we guys might throw him a shirt. We might throw him a shirt. We'll think about it. Him and the Husker. Him and the Husker. That's the clean Don't be giving award. out all the shirts. Someone just said Foley doesn't want to go back to Nobu. You're giving out merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Um, what else? All right, this, so this is the winner, right? Winner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this next, this next button I press is... Okay, hang on. Don't all press the button yet. the marbles. So this is the winner coming up. Winner all coming right. up. Now, we want to thank everybody for submitting, okay? Uh, great job. Fucking fantastic response. That one couple... You got to get into a 30-day program, okay? <laughs> Outpatient, inpatient, you're gonna, doesn't you're matter. Gonna, you're going to be separated for a little while. That's where it's tough when the both of you are addicts and you both got to go in. You can't go to the same joint. You'll be a better person on the other end of it, though. Yeah. But great fucking job. Wow. Yeah, thank you for everyone who submitted. I also have to say I had so much fun going through these. Um, if you didn't make the cut, it's, we're going to have plenty more of these type of things. Fantastic. Coming over, Absolutely. For sure. And thank you to you, Dylan, for all the hard yeah. work you put yeah. into it. It looks great. You guys let me know when you're ready. Okay, here we go. This Hit is it. the winner of the Are You Garbage 2020 Garage Fridge Contest, mm -hmm. end of summer. At first inaugural. Inaugural. First annual. Annual. All right. Here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff L. Jeff L. Here's my garage fridge. Industrial it's stainless an industrial steel. victory unit. What? Uh, that used to belong to a restaurant I worked at wow. 15 years ago that has since gone out of business, and then I bought at the bank auction when they were Ooh. cleaning the place out. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Still pause got it. the uh, uh, stuff. Dude, going, dude, getting an industrial fridge at a bank auction wow. at a place you used to work with is some fucking clean living. Holy shit, this guy ain't fucking this around. This guy's playing fucking chess, not checkers. All right, let's see cleaning the place out still got the stuff on the door for where they would keep the meat that's great ribeye kc strips then inside we've got oh. all the things that are good Holy a couple shit. ipas a little party liquor some seltzers Jeez. bush light which is pretty much water in iowa Frosted hold, mugs. hold on, hold on. Frosted, frosted fucking mugs. <laughs> Nobody thought of that. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> thought to fucking put a little water on a mug and throw you, it in the freezer. You fucking animals. Wow. Holy shit. Chilled glasses out there in Iowa. Holy Damn. shit. Keep it going. Wisconsin in and here. And a keg. And then on the bottom. What? I've got a keg set up with two faucets. I've got homemade beer in the back keg, <gasps> and then ultra in the front one. And then I just keep the tubes inside because I didn't want to cut a hole in the side of the fridge. It works pretty good this way. Yeah, because you're a fucking gentleman, oh, dog. Shit. So there wow. you are, boys. Is that trash or what? Buddy, that's, that's fucking trash. top of the heat, oh. daddy -o. Cow! Damn! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Jeff winner, L, winner. Um, email. Shout out to Jeff L. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Send us the email, please. Uh, yeah, I'll email him. I have it in my... Holy shit, dude. Wow. That's... I mean, dude, to keep, like, the fucking... You can't say it was rigged. No. I, I didn't even... Listen, I've been garbage my whole fucking life. I never thought industrial fridge. No. I showed you what my family's working with. That's something else, dude. Holy shit. Dude, he's got the keg, he's got tubes, he's got valves and shit. And homemade beer. And did you notice, that, what did he, he call it, party liquor? Party something liquor. Something he made in I moonshine? Think moonshine, something. Yeah. Some fucking bathtub ooch. <laughs> Yo, holy shit. Wow, that, Man, was, that fucking blew My fucking away. hat is off to you and your family, sir. You, mm -hmm. were, you come from good stock. I don't know what you do for a living, but you got a little cage. <laughs> you, had about, you had about two tree grand in that fridge. <laughs> Woo! Damn, dude. That was fucking awesome. Congratulations, man. I'll reach out to you. That was something fucking else. Wow. I was fucking blown away. I was not, didn't even, not even register. And I didn't even think of the fucking frosted glasses. No, not once in my life have I ever thought to do that. Which for a while, we had them in our, in our regular refrigerator. 
Foley was scared for a second. I didn't save a good one for last. I, I could see yeah. it. No, I didn't know. <laughs> good. You did, did a great job, buddy. That was fantastic. Was amazing. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it so much. Shout out to Jeff for winning. Guys, this was such a fun fucking episode. I appreciate it. What a great episode. Um, As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Full video is available on YouTube. You can subscribe there as well. We really fucking appreciate it. Those numbers are going up every fucking week. We love all the support. Uh, also, shout out to the people running the Facebook pages. And the Reddit page, we yes, appreciate thank you that. Guys. Now, can we get in on that, or is that lame? I'm in on it. Somebody invited me in on it. I'll okay. invite you. Somebody invited me in on All it. All right. Yeah, get in there and mix it up. Yeah, get in there and um, mix it up with the gang. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, as always... Uh, for all of uh, the f- the first fif- the most recent fifteen episodes are available on YouTube, on iTunes, wherever you get your podcast. But if you want the whole catalog and the catalog of every show on Gas Digital, like ten years of fucking Legion of Skanks, you mm-hmm. can go to Gas Digital to GasDigital dot com and use promo code AYG. You get to save a couple of bucks. We get to make a couple of bucks. Makes the world go round. You know what I mean? We appreciate it so much. We get the wet our beak. And so many of you guys have fucking done that already. We get the, the numbers at the end of the month. It's fantastic. Thank yeah, you so much. We really appreciate it. And also, I don't know if you guys got your emails, but the T-shirts have been shipped. Yeah, yeah. The so T-shirts you are going out. You should have them soon. And we're going to be doing uh, another pre-sale in a little bit here. And um, hopefully have some new merch and all that kind of stuff for you guys. Also, you want to hear how much I care about the fans? I don't think I told you this. Tell me. They don't ship to Canada for some reason. So I was placing orders for people in Canada. I'm going to get them and then piggyback them to Canada. That's how we do it over here at AYG. We're a fucking family. What I tell you, folks, when you're reaching for a best pal, (laughs) you fucking make it a kippy, even if you are Canadian. (laughs) Yeah. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.